Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today in our series on Windows 7 tips and tricks we're going to show you how to delete your cookies and temporary files from Internet Explorer 11. This is a common question because when you go on to do some online banking for example very often they'll ask you to remove the cookies and temporary files and one of the questions a lot of people will have is how do I do that? So in Internet Explorer, if that's the browser you're using, and this uh, video is for Internet Explorer 11, the latest version of Internet Explorer for Windows 7. To erase cookies and temporary files when you're in, in Internet Explorer, all you have to do is go into the upper right corner, just below the red X. There's a little pinwheel, which are, is the Tools button. Simply click there and go into Internet Options. And here, in that first tab of General Tabs, you'll see a section called Browsing History. I'll simply click Delete and make sure that you have at least History, Cookies and Website Data, and Temporary Internet Files uh, that are checked and click the Delete button afterwards. This will enable you to erase everything that left a trace or almost anything that might have left a trace. Once it's done, you simply click OK and you should see normally at the bottom a little window that you like you see here, a message that says Internet Explorer has finished deleting this selected browsing history. If deleting cookies and browsing history isn't a problem for you, it is possible at the same spot there in the tools and internet options to simply put a little check mark here and that delete browsing history on exit. That means that every time you shut down Internet Explorer after you've been on the web, it's going to do it automatically so you don't have to remember to do it. And if you went online banking, you won't have to do that step of deleting everything in the cookies. Um, you might ask yourself a question, why then does this exist? Well, the reason why the history and cookies are here is because they are used from websites to remember you. So for example, when you go to a website, having cookies on prevents you from sometimes having to re-enter some types of information that are asked every time you go on a website. And so the, 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 that's a, you know, a good idea in a sense, but the fact is, the reason the banks want you to delete that information is because if for some reason you might have a virus or something that wants to try to track what you are doing on the web to um, give you a um, fake web page, well by checking your cookies they will know in advance what bank site for example you're using. But in no case they can steal a password as that is not stored in cookies on your computer. And it also is a bad idea to say yes to remember password, by the way, in any browser. Uh, this is a common thing. Browsers will ask you to keep your password when you enter it the first time. And it, it's always a bad idea to have passwords automatically kept by the computer as they can be stolen if there is some kind of flaw in the operating system. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. Maybe you uh, like our videos, why not subscribe? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And hopefully, you will come back to this Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.